There was a lot of tension at the time. If we need something in and running on a very short time frame. But I don't think they're going to do it in four weeks. Tambler is a workforce management software vendor and SAP payroll provider. Tomago is Australasia's largest aluminium smelter. Tomago and Tambler were two very different organisations. The challenge both customers had was really around wanting to get their project done quickly. Right in the beginning of 2020, we acquired a SAP payroll practice to complete the offering from timesheets through to payroll. They were running SAP, an older version of SAP. It represented a high technical risk for our customers to continue on some of these ageing platforms. And we also had the two data centres all this equipment was in were being shut down like three months after we acquired the business. So we had these event horizons of both primary and secondary data centres were being turned off. We built in our own urgency at that point. So we had a SAP contract in place, an SAP Partner Managed Cloud contract, and we were approaching the end of that. We thought it's a good time to actually test the market. We ran through that process and we made the determination that the best option there was to bring it home because prior to the Partner Managed Cloud, uh, SAP had existed on-premise at the smelter. And then when we, we gave that notice, that, that triggered the 90 days. That's not a lot of time to, to bring back an ERP that's existed in the cloud for five years. The Red Hat technology is a massive enabler for what we do. So we've adopted it heavily in our own managed services environment. We've been using it for some time and had a lot of success with it. I think a lot of the time you can talk about how you can be successful with a new technology or bring it into your customers. What we've found works for us is if we make our own success with it first and then go and demonstrate how it can be successful with our customers. The critical moment where we became comfortable with Advent One as the solution partner was a live demo that myself and Taylor did offline. He showed all of the technologies that were required to deliver it in real time, in front of my eyes, full orchestration layers using Red Hat and Ansible and the full stack up and down to actually produce reliable, consistent and robust platforms. Yeah, he did it. It was also in the middle of lockdown during the COVID situation and a project like this with actually not meeting someone in person was unknown. Normally you'd get together and do a whiteboard session and, and get to know the customer. There was no PowerPoint, it was like let's just deep dive into how we're going to build this technology and automate all the processes to hit the deadlines and the timeframes that we needed to. The ability to use you know, self-written automation that we, we provide, coupled with what Red Hat provide, which is supported by Red Hat. Joining those two things together is a, a really good proposition to be able to get these workloads built quickly, and also to be able to have the scale and support behind them that Red Hat can provide. The bottom line benefits for Tambler and moving, our customers could speed up their payroll processing faster. We are able to respond to our customers' needs a lot quicker. The business benefit that stands out to me after this project is really consistency. It's always there, it's always on, it's always available. What that gives us is the ability to actually be more innovative. Previously, when we we're tied to physical hardware servers, when a customer wanted to build a new test environment to test some new changes to their payroll rules or their processing rules, it would take us two to three weeks to free up some hardware. Now that we've moved, we can now deliver those to our customers in a heartbeat. One of the big things around Red Hat compared to the other Linux flavours that uh, I find really reassuring and uh, it is the level of support that's there, as well as Advent One's skill set. They were given the, the scope of we need something in and running on a very short time frame. They delivered on that easily. While we're doing the technology selection, that was the aha, the light bulb moment when we were seeing the demonstrations of Ansible. Um, tower and satellite all coming together. At the end of the four weeks we had 70 different environments running, over 100 Red Hat servers all patched, production ready, waiting for the next part of the project which was to migrate our customers' data into them. We're always working side by side with Red Hat in our customers. So to be able to have a partner like that where we're both trying to achieve the same thing has been really refreshing and it's great that we're able to work so closely with the Red Hat team.